Hey guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest, and today I'm going to talk about five unique passive income ideas that you probably haven't thought of. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm all about teaching you how to build passive income, become financially free, and design your best lives. If you're about entrepreneurship, you love the digital nomad life, make sure to smash that subscribe button and get notified of my latest videos. So let's get on with today's topic. I had not thought of these passive income streams before because I'm all about the online business side. I'm all about the, you know, the real estate investing side. So these unique methods were very new to me and actually kind of exciting. It's never a bad idea to diversify your income stream. So you might as well try new things. So the number one I'm gonna talk about is ATM machines. I never actually thought about where ATM machines came from. I always had this idea that like they came from, you know, bank or corporations where you don't really have access to them but apparently it seems like you can make decent passive income through ATM machines so when people make a withdrawal they're going to pay a bit extra in order to take that money out and you're gonna be able to get that commission so with this type of business it's all about where you place those machines which locations you're placing them because you want to get them at high traffic places you want to make sure people are going to be using them the most so think places that have high traffic and maybe stores that are cash only this is a good way to start making that passive income it's an interesting way I never thought of it I probably won't pursue this way but it's like kind of cool to think about number two is vending machines I would say it's passive but the maintenance work it seems like a little bit more than others again this might not be something I pursue because it seems like there's work around like going through your route of vending machines and then restocking inventory collecting payments and possibly like if machines break down you're gonna have to fix them it seems kind of passive in a sense of you you make sales like while you're just chilling at home or whatever, but it seems like there can be like more work when it comes to maintenance. So there's some people on YouTube that have tons of vending machines out there and then they make a few grand a month, I believe, on just having these vending machines and restocking them, which is actually very exciting. It's another thing where, the same as an ATM machine, where you're trying to figure out locations of places with high traffic, places where people will probably buy soda or snacks and things like that. So it's another thing where you gotta kind of tap into where, where would people be going? So it's kind of interesting in that way. So number three is crane games. Who's in charge here? That's actually think this is more fun and more passive and this is something I was actually exploring I was actually going on Craigslist trying to find crane games and claw machines that people play with and then I was gonna try to see if I can make a passive income stream that way I haven't done it yet but we'll see if I end up pulling the trigger it'd be a fun video right at least <laughs> first of all I love crane games I play it all the time like when I'm in Taiwan and stuff like that so it's interesting to me and I feel like this channel has low startup costs it's low maintenance because you can fill it up with toys and it's not like every Every time people put money in they're gonna get a toy it's actually kind of hard to get a toy right so I love that combination of like the funness low expensive and the passive part of it it makes it more appealing to me to get a crane game number four is laundromats I heard about this while I was at Pat Flynn's course creation workshop and one of the students actually had their own laundromat that actually cash flows better than a rental investment like a rental property they make like a few grand a month and they I think the whole laundromat was like a hundred grand total but that's like over the 1% rule if you guys know what that is. The 1% rule is basically the idea that the monthly rent you get should be equal to or greater than 1% of the total purchase price of an investment property. So basically if you bought something at $100,000, you should be able to get $1,000 monthly rent. But like with this laundromat, you're actually getting positive profits of like a few grand a month, which is pretty good. So I don't know too much about the business, but like it seems like something to look into over like rental properties. And number five, I would say building and renting out tiny houses and ADUs. I've been talking about tiny houses in previous videos, but <laughs> I've been like failing each time trying to get a tiny house. But I think it can be a very lucrative business if you figure out how to build these ADUs and tiny houses and rent them out. You know, if you understand the regulations, you know like the permits and like the water electricity stuff, it could be a great way to make a lot of money Airbnb being it out. The reason why I say tiny houses and ADUs is that the price point is a lot lower than like buying an actual house. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this videos on five unique passive income streams you might not have thought of. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried any of these passive income streams. Subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of my my latest videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.